Ooh, an on man. Damn it! I really wish I could say "Hey, Juno, share your screen." I know. I, <laughs> I, I, I miss those days. Insane, God, I miss so those good. days. God, I just said, "Fuck you, Gino." <laughs> Fuck you, Gino. Floods his entire basement. <laughs> 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 Uh, that's... Maybe the funniest part is that my computer is completely fine. At <laughs> least, yeah. At, at least the Elgato, Elgato died, but not the PC. Broke. Yeah, the Elgato gets a drop of water on it. It says, not sayonara. I'm finna kill myself. <laughs> Juno's Elgato said, alright guys, I guess that's it. That's it. But you know what? Hello everyone, and welcome to Season 2. Of the Pod Ooh, Thickness podcast. Let's go. The longest Ooh. season of all time. A whopping three years of God Tom damn. Tom Foolery. Actually. With yeah, it's been three fucking oh years. My God. We Holy started shit. off. I think John was jobless. Gino was uh, a travel agent, like and I was working yeah. at Starbucks. That's crazy. Yeah, Holy man. Shit. That is actually. Wild. That's it. So I, I I feel like we should do a quick like summary of what's happened like over it's like, I'm those three to be years. Jobless again. <laughs> so like yeah. yeah I want to start us off. Uh, well, I mean like I obviously can't go into deep like, like exact course, name yeah. stuff, but like yeah. it's just the gist of it is like uh, work laid off sixty workers, Ugh. and unfortunately I was among the the, the sixty. Uh, but at least you're still working for the company. It was the project. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I even had a meeting least. today with. Um, my team leader and he's like you didn't get fired he's like you got he's like well, you're dismissed until like we yeah. call you back he, and he told me he's like you honestly your work was really good there you go he's like you're definitely not at the bottom of the list for people we're calling back that that that's go. why like for how long you've been with them and like just on these projects in general like the odds that you're back is like incredibly fucking high at least that's like exactly soon it. More than anything. Exactly. Yeah. And then I just give them my availabilities with uh, school and whatnot. And we figure it out with their, like from there. Well, that's it. Yeah. That's it. But yeah, until so then. Back to school. Exactly. Oh, I didn't know about school, that. Be... Yeah. For uh, starting January 8th, which is funny enough, the day that I'm no longer getting paid by work officially. Oh, wow. It all works uh, out. For game development. Hell yeah. That's something that you talked about forever ago, too. I remember. That's exactly That was like a plan. The perfect, the perfect time. Like, Fuck in... yeah, John. As now and everything, so it's a lot. It's, it's some character development we got going on here for sure. Congrats, dog. Michi, michi. Yeah, that's pretty me. much all that's been going on with me. Yeah. Now what about you, you folks? <laughs> <laughs> I'll lead just because, like, the funny incident that everyone's aware of that I haven't really oh, yeah. spoken about with uh, the podcast too much. But so yeah, uh, like day zero podcast working at Starbucks for like the eighth time. And then did culinary, as we all know, graduated culinary, did not pursue a career in culinary. And I am now doing the same work as John, but for another yeah. game. Game's not public or anything, but it's a very fun game. And uh, I'm a single boy yet again, and I'm being sued. By Sophia. Crazy. Yeah. Did you oh did you end up having your thing by the way? Yeah, I had the mediation today. Uh oh, that, she rejected it. So we've <laughs> you know when the court date is? When? Like in September 2025. Holy what? Fuck. <laughs> so basically you're just, you're just owning this cat. Like, what the fuck's yeah, yeah, exactly. That's why I said what? at this point, like if I lose then or like at this point, I think it's just getting her the money, but I have at least time to save up for this. Yeah, it's yeah, you know, so I, it's it's, so it's ridiculous. What? I know, but that, like lose lose. But that's her, that's who she is. You know, that's crazy. That's it. So I won't get into crazy details or anything. Yeah, but yeah we had mediation for it. Uh, let's see if we could work something out. I got like three hours of sleep over it because it was fucking. I had to be up at like eight. Took a nap last night at like midnight, and then just got like no sleep afterwards. I feel you though. Good time, yeah. Either. Yeah. <sighs> so and now we transition uh, to G. Yeah, and my Gino. update. Uh, since the first podcast, I'm back in school. Uh, so that's the big thing. I'm not a travel agent anymore. Um, then besides that, the big thing is I'm also single, but uh, mine's a bit different than Pat. Yeah, it's <laughs> mine's a bit more of, uh, in my opinion, a bit more emotional. Much training. <laughs> um, yeah. So, but it's been it's been okay. We're doing the best we can. We're yeah. we're improving as we go on. That's about it. Yeah. 
That's the first time you've really spoken about it, like. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, it's, it's not fun, but no, uh, naturally, very confusing and. Yeah, because your situation is it was it was way different from ours as well. That's yeah, that's for sure. I find it's different than a lot of people's. Very, yeah, naturally. Uh, very very specific. Yeah, Disa so specific. Is is we're uh, we're working through it. We'll see how everything goes. Hopefully yeah, everything yeah. works out by the end of it, but uh, we'll see. Yeah. Cool. And you know what? With Christmas right around the corner, what a better time than to start the beginning of season two. I'm gonna try to do one a month. I'm gonna try to aim for either the beginning or the end of every month. I will try to set a specific day, but this one's gonna be the first episode. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. Hell so we'll yeah. try to hit twelve per season at this point. So, put a lot of work into the fucking season two art. I was pestering these two it's about really my good. art. I'm a big fan. <laughs> I'm really excited to finally be able to show it off. Uh, but yeah, it's the 19th today as well. So I'm gonna put this is gonna go out on Christmas Day, guaranteed. I'll put it out like Ooh, Merry Christmas. 8 a.m. So Merry everyone Christmas, listening, everybody. Merry Christmas. Unless you're watching afterwards and you have to turn hey, it off. And you gotta wait Merry Christmas, 363 so. days yet. Merry that's Christmas, freaking bozo. And that's it. Uh, that's it. Uh, yeah, so we don't necessarily have like, it's not like our, our iconic 3 by 3s or food tier lists or such. It's just gonna be talking about Christmas related matter. Yeah. Anything in general, like, I brought up like some food potentially and good memories, good gifts of that nature. Well, Do you want to go back as far as we can and then just try and progressively go forward? Yeah. It was. It all started the day I was born. <laughs> my, my mom parents, shaved. My parents failed to show up. <laughs> well, my parents, parents failed to show up. Me. Oh god, I didn't watch any Phineas and Ferb growing up. Oh, I missed out of it. That was fucking fantastic. <laughs> no, but uh, like the way I would say is like when growing up in my family, like we've had Christmas. I don't know about you guys, but like Christmas has moved houses throughout the years. Like, it hasn't just been at one for us, house. For us, we had a tradition where it was, like, uh, both set for both sets of grandparents, one would be, like, Christmas Eve would be celebrated at one of their houses, and then Christmas Day would be celebrated uh, right. at the other. No, but, like, more of the sense of, like, like originally for me and my house, it was uh, my Aunt Sylvie. Like, it was always at her house. But then, uh, after a few years... It ended up moving to my nana's house for two years, and then it ended up moving to my aunt Kathy's house, and now we're at my house. Ah! So in like a fucking twenty-three year span, we've been a fucking like. You guys are migrating. You just no, for, for us, yeah. it's been my grandmother's house uh, on the east end, and then after we transitioned to my cousin's house. Yeah, this is my cousin's house. My guys, my, my cousin's house. house. And then um, now it's now it's at my house also. Here we go. Beauty. Uh, oh, you fine. I had the tradition of having a divorced family from a very young yes. age, <laughs> so I had to have it in different households. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like, I guess like all joking aside, like, uh, as a kid we would, like, when my parents were divorced, we would alternate Christmases. Like, one year I would do Christmas at my dad's, and then the next would be at my mom's, and we'd alternate. And we did that all the way up until, like, pretty much now we still kind of try to do it but now at this point like with everyone doing all kinds of different stuff my parents both living in very different locations from one another like even further than in the past uh it's just kind of whatever happens happens yeah you know yeah i find like um uh, like my cousin uh michael like his family's a bit like uh in the similar boat to yours kind of where it's like um they they celebrate one year at our house and they spend the other year at like the uh, in-laws house okay you know what i mean like it like, yeah. alternates so yeah, like this right. year we're having everybody like we're literally almost 30 plus people in my house nice. like, Hell but yeah. then next year we're gonna go down to like fucking like 18. yeah <laughs> like, it cuts in half with them going because even like giordano uh, last year wasn't uh, at uh, christmas he was at uh, his girlfriend's uh oh, shit. yeah family's house like 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 that's the shit that's been happening right it's, right uh, we don't really have any uh Pretty much the, the gist of it now, like, uh, well, at least Christmas Eve, I'm happy to do it at my house, but, like, my mom's side isn't coming, but my dad's side is. Okay. And then after, on Christmas Day, I'm going to my girlfriend's house, and it's only her grandparents there, so it's, like, a really small eight-person Christmas. I don't know, so, so it's pretty chill, honestly, like, but at my house, it's gonna be, like, maybe 15-ish. Yeah. Pr again, 
not a large group, but it's it's like very massive. It's still though. pretty big. Like, 50, it's, a, it's enough big, for holidays. Like, it's, yeah. not, it's not enough where it's gonna like clutter your house no, as much. No, oh my as god, no. Which is good. Which is yeah, good. hell yeah. There's, there's like, some development. I, I don't know about you guys. I find like like the house you're in growing up is always like the the iconic. Like for me, we always talk about it all the time in our family. It's like the, my aunt Sylvie's house is like the iconic Christmas house. Yeah. Like we used to play like Christmas music. We used to do like karaoke. Yeah, yeah. We used yeah. to do um, like we used to play like uh, the GameCube. Uh, like it was just like a different uh, time. That's it. Yeah. Like we were absolutely. just. we were all kids. Like imagine like my cousin Anthony is seven years older than me. Like he's the oldest, and like we were there from when I was like what, born till <clears throat> I was like eleven. So like eleven years. So until he was eighteen years old, we were basically doing Christmas at my fucking aunt's house. So like we were always. Uh, just vibing, having a uh, good time. Hell, yeah. so, for, for me that would have been my grandmother's house. Like she, she had the spot. Like she had the PlayStation Two, uh, computer, play Adventure Quest. Ah, uh, yes, oh, Adventure Quest. <laughs> the best malware you'll ever play in your life. Man. So good. Now it's like now it has its own launcher and it's just like ah, there you go. Completely fine. In a it is Adventure Quest. Right? Fucking Adventure Quest. Let me check that it's the one that I am thinking of. It's the Arctic game launcher. They have that, like an actual app that has all the Adventure Quest is the one where. Uh, yes, it is the, Adventure uh... Quest. Yes, dude, I slowed my fucking family PC down to a grinding halt playing this game back in the day, but oh my god, it was so worth it. <laughs> it was so much fun. I still have. I, I found Ugh. my old account, and I it's I have a guy Holy called the Wizard shit. of Oz, where it was just like a full on mage. <laughs> my cousin played it religiously. Like he was like, um, what fucking level was he? I think he was level seventy something. Nice. Which I find I, I'm, a, I'm a little lady like, adventurer also. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, yeah, dude, I grinded all kinds. I remember this big-ass, like, toilet kraken monster from that game. Oh, my... Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. You go into the bathroom and you fight a giant motherfucker. Yeah, monster. we got obliterated by him each time, though. It was great. He was so high level. <laughs> I remember <laughs> jobbers who didn't know how to play video games back then. Yeah. Was fucking Good times. Nice. Yeah. He has a mage click clicking the attack button to do melee damage instead. <laughs> What dingus. Stupid fuck. fucking five-year-old. <laughs> Stupid five-year-old using the attack button as a mage doing God. five damage instead of using your spells. Unbelievable. To deal seven damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, no, I didn't really have, like, a dedicated, like, Christmas house, I guess, growing up, thinking about it, but, like, we had one for New Year's. Like, we'd always go to my cousin's place. Like, when I think of an We from having one. only New Year's at our house, but now we have Christmas and New Year's at my house. Hell, yeah. And I, but no, it's like, it's stressful the main as hub. fuck. Yeah. Like, my mom gets fucking stressed. Yeah, right? naturally. So like, exactly that, especially because like your house already took like a beating from Christmas and you just have to, yeah. you're recovering, like cleaning up and everything. And then you have, you take another beating on New Year's. But G, now you learned how to make wings. So when your mom's I, like, Gino, oh, help me, help me with Christmas. John, John, because like, Pat, like Pat didn't get to try them. Like, I find they came out fucking fantastic. Among they other, were, the they were very good. The sauce that I made with nice. uh, Giordano is so good. Dude. I love that sauce so much. I, I it tried was... it with some of the, the spring rolls that uh, Simone brought and my God. It was really good. Like, I was really proud of myself. It's that hoisin, nice. baby. Uh, hoisin for real. It's, like, I like to imagine like your mom's like stressing out. Like, do you know I need? I really need you to help with like the Christmas decorations and all this. And you're like, yeah. Mom, don't worry about it. I mom, got I you. Got you. Some yeah. Wings. <laughs> Two hours later, here you go, Mom. It's just wings. <laughs> Gino, you dumb fuck. The family's gonna be here in 17 minutes. This is like, I don't, oh, actually, this is a good question to ask because at our house, we're not allowed to have meat. Either yeah, neither. Ah, uh, yes. Bed, but, like, so like my cousin Mike's literally leaving, for, like for supper to go to his girlfriend's house to, to, eat. to eat and like yeah. say hi, and he's coming back. Yeah, I, that's a total fucking. I mean, it's a very religious thing, but like to me that reads more as like an Italian thing. So like all of us being incredibly Italian. Italian. Exactly. Yeah. Like for us, it's we'll eat the fish, but like yeah, like, that's no why. Meats, so I'm no doing like... a lot of uh, fish prep uh, on Christmas Eve or day. Yeah, Eve, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we're having a lot of fish. Yeah, so, uh, speaking of favorite food at fucking Christmas, but guys, Kiki Saint Jacques is. Literally I was about to say like that. That's one of the things I'm fucking uh, making. It's yeah, it's my favorite. So good. It's probably in my top five favorite dishes of all time. Yeah. And it just so happens to be on fucking Christmas. Like it's so fucking. I, I think we should explain just in case, because like I don't know, because obviously with the name like oh, Cookie yeah, Saint Jacques. Dish, yeah. 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 Um. So Cookie Saint Jacques is like a seafood. A potato dish yeah uh where basically like there's different ways of making it i think like the basic basic way is just scallops and like that's it 
like a, but like my what we do is we have like um we my aunt used to do like lobster yeah uh there's shrimp uh scallops obviously inside yep. we've had crab mm -hmm. like like anything that you could put in there it's not like like uh, any crustacean or whatever like goes in there yeah it's it's, like, it's most fantastic. seafoods yeah it's usually like uh like you pipe mashed potatoes around like a clam shaped uh yeah. like dish kind of and then it's like a a bechamel sauce inside with yeah. usually like different fish um cheese cheese on top as well like mozzarella usually a big fucking scallop in the middle like those are like the, mm -hmm. the best ones the really big scallop and then yeah like shrimp like juno said crustaceans if there's fish you like like if you're a, That's a yeah like usually just like white fish like very inoffensive flavored ones um and then yeah you just put it in the oven for a bit to uh toast up the mozzarella and then once a month he makes it for me oh nice so i have so it like good. all the time and then like at christmas because my mom my parents make so much of it we have like leftovers for the next like three months so <laughs> like, God, that's sick. Month, yeah three months it's so good i i i hate fish i think you guys know that i hate oh, I fucking fish yeah like I know that. salmon's the only one that i could really uh, handle salmon, yeah yeah but like, like fish or? no that, that that's like where i i'm exactly. usually okay with it yeah because like seafood doesn't bother me like i could do like calamari and just scallop it's i fucking love scallops yeah like yeah. white white fish really doesn't okay. for me yeah and raw like i don't do sushi oh i love raw. yeah i, love I, knew, I knew you didn't that. like sushi i didn't know you like didn't like fish period yeah yeah it's more it's a golden. it's a fish issue uh like i'll do like i said like yeah like salmon arctic char like red fish i like a lot yeah yeah uh or like um uh, like fish and chips kind of like deep fried and battered it helps that's a why, lot exactly because yeah. again like you're you're finding all the other elements that it, it gets rid of a lot fish. of that fishy like flavor and exactly. smell yeah also for people listening it's it's not cookie it's it's, it's yeah cookie q u i l e s I -L -L -E. yeah cookie because i know some people might be like that's a weird oh, cookie cookie, cookie <laughs> saint jacques <laughs> that, people are gonna be like that's a weird fucking cookie bro. yeah i'll throw a picture up right now we're saying cookie not cookie it's fucking fantastic. like like i don't like i know at the ours house we're having like the shrimp fucking and the sauce thing we're having mussels we're having a yeah. rockefellers Ooh, like, yes like, yeah like nice. my nano makes it in the yeah. garage those like, are great so sketch but like, <laughs> really fucking good <laughs> whipping it up uh, and like he has like a barrel on the side oh god no, it, it, like the way it, like when you go in my like garage when he's making it it looks so fucking sketch you're like that's funny what the fuck is happening like, here and you're like, ultimate oh, street food it's really like john you've had the rockefeller in my yeah house it's delicious absolutely delicious oh uh, but like, you know that we're having like everything the only like i i told my mom and i was like the only thing i would want to change is my one of my favorite seafood dishes ever is johnny's mom's um like mussels in like the sauce Mm. yeah and like, that's my muscles. fucking favorite yeah and it just sucks that um like the, everyone's we're just having like raw mussels and i like raw mussels are still fantastic but like raw mussels and the fucking sauce is like <laughs> insane yeah. hell yeah for us it's a seafood i love seafood salad so much oh, as well salad sounds good too Damn. like costco costco seafood salad is really good but like when it's homemade like uh of course yeah my late great cousin uh claudio used to make literally the best fucking seafood salad like obviously <laughs> he was a chef on top of that too so like oh yeah there when you he go. prepared it man he went he went off now yeah. uh chris my girlfriend's uh, grandmother she makes bacala balls and honestly oh, oh nice oh, my i fucking and it, she makes oh so well dude I, they're like for me they're the fucking timbits of fish like i'm just consuming them <laughs> You have the it's chips and meat, and now the tin bits the of chips fish. And meat. No, 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 the chips and meat. <laughs> Love Never it. forget. But uh, you know what's better than Cookie Saint Jacques, and I don't know if you've had it before. And like, this is a much more like American thing because it's very similar to Cookie Saint Jacques, but actually has like an English name. It's lobster thermidor. I don't know if that's lobster what my I had because there was lobster in the Cookie Saint Jacques, but like. And if it looks the same, like, I guess that's what I have. It, but... It's almost identical in like the preparation steps, just minus the mashed potatoes, and it's inside of like the carcass of a lobster. That's I know been, exactly. Like, oh, down I've, had, I've had that before. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. looked yeah. it up and I'm like, yeah, it I is so good. Because it, it's like all the best things about Cookie Saint Jacques minus the mashed potatoes, unfortunately. I love that. Yeah. But you get like, nice. bit, like you get like big ass hunks of lobster because you have to like gut it in like entirely exactly. break up the and bits just, a little bit and you reinsert it open and just there for yeah. you to, like scoop up 
and you get a lot of extra flavor from like the actual yeah. carcass itself it's almost like you're making a stock because you're cooking the uh like the husk of it essentially because yeah you you yeah. cut it right down the middle uh you gut it and then yeah i think you fully cook it first and then you cut it down the middle gut it and then you uh make your little mix put it back in put the cheese on top and you just broil it until the cheese is uh like melted and a little toasty it's it's phenomenal like lobster thermometer is basically what we're talking about just so good in a real shell rather than a fake one banger banger dish i have a picture of that too that i i made one of those in uh, culinary but Oof. i'd have to find i have like eight thousand photos i'd have to skim through to find it i'll try my best to find it before christmas <laughs> Oh my god. What's your guys' opinion on eggnog? I love While eggnog. This, okay, uh, I don't Christmas love eggnog. I like it's eggnog. alright. I, it, it, yeah, I, I approve of it, but I'm not gonna go out of my way. I'm a huge so we don't have it. I think enthusiast. we had it one year at, the, so we at Christmas. We ex like, extremely rarely have it, then it's just, it's it's okay. Do you booze it up, though, or do you have it on its own? Uh, I don't remember. It was at my aunt uh, Kathy's Me, house. It's, it's been some time. It's COVID. been some time ago. Uh -huh. If you have the opportunity I th I think this it year, wasn't yeah. Alcohol. I think it was just straight eggnog. Because it's usually just like eggnog and like spiced rum, and it's like, ha, huh. yeah, ah, oh. oh. God, it's so, ah, oh. it's so good. <laughs> I love it. Because when I think eggnog, I think of like almost like candy corn. I feel like it's one of those you fucking love it or you absolutely despise it. Kind of makes me laugh. More Holiday like, like candy things. corn. Candy corn, I absolutely hate, and I hate candy corn. Yeah, I, can have like, like, a I think it's like a the couple. least favorite candy in the U.S., if I'm not mistaken, for Halloween. Uh, that varies by state, I think. Like, I think there's one state yeah. where it's, like, the most popular, but yeah, I think most people would fucking say the candy corn is, like, their absolute least favorite. Nasty. Like, I bet in some random fucking prairie-ass state, like Idaho or some shit, you'd have uh, candy <laughs> corn as, like, number one. <laughs> and then New York City would be, like, not that. Uh, Reese's is goaded. Reese's penis butter cups, yeah. <laughs> penis butter fucks. Oh my god. Do you guys have any Christmas traditions that you guys usually follow? Besides uh, like food? Lately more than more than uh, in the past for sure. At like, one point we used to do like the freaking La Madonna or whatever around the house at Manana used to do it. Mm -hmm. But I feel like we don't do that anymore. Oh, uh, we play poker yeah. now as like our, our oh, new, cool. uh, Christmas okay. tradition. But, like, we have, uh, I've won uh, what, two out of the last three. Fuck yeah. Okay, I'm like, proud of myself. Are you gonna become uh, a bookie like Shud and be like, hey, you guys owe me, uh. <laughs> well, funny this thing about money. Shud was with, um, for him, I would see him on Christmas because when I would, like, yeah, Michael, that's cool. Uh, wouldn't be, uh, oh, usually we celebrate Christmas Day at my, uh, at my aunt's anyway. We just go over. Yeah. Else oh, uh, you know what Claudio's fucking Christmas tradition is? What? It's to pull up the Mob of the Dead jump scare Easter egg and show the whole family. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, for Christmas though, he makes a volume four. <laughs> no, but we, we play like Tumble usually. That's another Christmas tradition. It's the scariest shit ever. Bro. And, uh, yeah, so like we would see him on the next day at uh, Christmas. We would be uh, friends with my cousin. Now they're not like, like close like that anymore. Oh, but, yeah. Yeah, that I happens. Him, but, uh, That's yeah. too bad. I miss yeah, Shud. I saw him one time when I was fucking, like, when I got a job landscaping. I saw him and, uh... Matt? Uh, Alessandra. No, Mario's cousin. Oh. Yeah. Oh. They were just walking down the street together. I literally jumped up and, like, into Claudio's arms. It was amazing. It was cute. It was a good time. That's the last time I saw him, I think. So that would have been, like... Like... A while ago. Yeah, like, I would have just turned 18, I think. Like, the summer after grade 11. Or like Ooh, summer of grade know. 11, like when you graduated. Yeah, that's crazy. But you know, the, tr the tradition now, it's like, since I started cooking, I, I do beef wellington every Ooh, every Christmas. So oh, such a banger. Yeah, we got a nice big ass filet mignon from Costco. I turned that into usually three Wellingtons at this point. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. I, I wish we could have meat. Like, I, I want to have fish on Christmas, yeah. like obviously, but like, I wish I could have also like... yeah meat on top of it we do the the seafood stuff like christmas eve if i'm not mistaken yeah, we'll do, like, christmas yeah eve and then christmas day yeah, we yeah. kind of don't give a shit anymore and then we'll actually yeah, we, we do the have, real like, shit we used to have like lamb and stuff yeah my grandma always wants well not that she always wants to but 
it's like she insists on getting lime and like no one in her family really likes lime or like oh, no one likes lime. the way that she does it i'm pretty sure Aww. like my mom really hates the way she does it rather i don't care favorite. yeah so good i i so don't mind good. i'll i'll eat lime it's not my favorite either uh, lime korma uh, is my favorite dad, lime dish this is dad on his barbecue the, man, the man's knows his way around the barbecue you know it's a good <laughs> it's, it's a good one when he when he built the barbecue himself got him his yeah. barbecuing he goes crazy with it Where's he so with happy it? with that hell yeah for us it's like our tradition in my house is like it's just a simple like exchange with my cousins and my brothers like that's yeah, good the gift exchange of course but yeah going up, a banger. like because now like in our family actually the way it works is once you're um uh 21 is the cutoff you're 21 years 21. old you get added to the uh, adult uh gift exchange ah, yes. so now oh, we're yeah. all in it except for my cousin tessa she's gonna be in i think next year but oh, um shit. yeah so the way it works is that like before that was that every aunt gets you like every aunt gets you the like gifts that you asked for and then that's it now we, you get pick a name and then you're good to go like i was telling actually um uh simone on the phone today because um he was like asking about the the Christmas party we had at uh, John's house, and mm. the only thing I didn't like about our gift <clears throat> exchange was that you uh, you were able to get Christina, and that Simone and Gabe could get each other. Yeah, that's the thing. Literally, uh, I, got I, girl, like, I, I got my girlfriend I, for our exchange. I was like, oh okay. <laughs> I, I assumed I assumed because that was me just not asking because I didn't it didn't affect me anyway. But like in a sense of like. <clears throat> Uh, I assume it's the way like my sister does it, where like, you can like block off people. Like we can't get each other in the family. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's mm -hmm. and the person you got last year is also blocked off. So no matter what, you're always gonna get like at least someone new. And then maybe you might get them the next year after, but you have to get really fucking unlucky because like imagine this year we're like 30 people. So the chance of you getting the same person again is fucking low. That's it. For us, it's a little different with my family. We're only like seven people doing the exchange seven eight yeah. people oh, okay, so the, yeah. the yeah, chances exactly. of you getting the person are extremely high what are you pat the whole gift thing yeah yeah we don't do that really like us it's like it's always just been like get together like me holden my mom my aunt and my brother, grandmother you your brother a gift? yeah I, I usually get him a gift goes, as well. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I, I get everyone a gift like like yeah this year the only people i had to shop for were everyone i just named and my dad basically that that's True. it okay. normally it would have been sophia as well but obviously not oh yeah uh so that saves me a bit of cash rico and i i finally got the uh, the last thing today there we go I, I, it's I, the I, quickest I ever got christmas shopping done uh, Hell, the amazon the gift wrapping <laughs> yeah amazon gift oh, wrapping guys so clutch. amazon gift wrapping is like the most clutch thing of all time and this is like for the fucking stupid wildsy fucking christmas party like you have to bring a fucking like ten dollar fucking gift, then the next morning I have to give another fucking like twenty dollar gift, and I'm like, why the fuck am I getting all these fucking gifts for? And then it like I have to end up uh, what's it called? Um, like I have to wrap them because I didn't get them on Amazon because I don't know what to fucking get to get it for twenty fucking dollars. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it's, like, it's like one of those fucking steel ones, like the white elephant one. And I guess I told Taylor because like, oh, we're doing a gift exchange. I'm like, oh, but like don't we have to like take names or whatever? But, like, no, 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 we're doing the one we have to, like, steal them, like, so the white elephant's gift one? Yeah, yes. we just call it the yeah. gift exchange, but, but that's not what the fuck it is. <laughs> that's <laughs> like, not a gift exchange. I was like, what the fuck? Like, oh. I hate that yeah. shit. As Actually, well, I, have I, don't know I have a story about that, yeah, that go specific for it. one. Uh, go like, we, we did the white elephant fucking gift exchange the last year, and at one point, like, my mom's like, because my mom at one point bought a gift for, like, our entire, like, our, our entire family, and, like, she bought, like, five different gifts, and, and she's like, okay, I'm putting these up, don't pick them. So, of course, everyone in my family picks the gifts that aren't ours, and, and then I, I'm the last person to pick, and all that's left is uh, my fucking gift. My mom's like, don't pick it, change with someone. And I'm like, okay, I'll change with Nunna, I guess. And my Nunna fucking had Jesus candles in her, in her as her gift, and I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely not taking the fucking Jesus candles. My Nunna's like... <laughs> Can yeah. I take them back? I'm like, whatever, give like, I'm like, just give my fucking gift card, bro. I don't want this whole Jesus candles. I'd take the Jesus candles over a gift card. <laughs> no, because everyone got like, everyone got like, like $50 worth of scratch, like, uh, scratch tickets. Ah, uh, yes. People got like, gas cards, Amazon gift cards. You've got, got the like, Don like, Bosco <laughs> and Padre Pio matching <laughs> candles. <laughs> Sex on Gabriel candles, bro. I don't want the fucking... But the scent of what? It's just my, my room's gonna smell like church. It's gonna like fancy, huh? <laughs> bro, these are some immersive candles, bro. 
I'm not oh, down for this fuck. And then was like, <laughs> you go to your uncle and you can't see him. And he's like, what? You just whip your boot at him? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna kill the guy. Like, he's seven years old. You're gonna kill him. You're gonna kill him. <laughs> oh, Holden loves that line so much. I'm like, okay, whatever. There was, there was Jesus uh, candles in a in like a, a reusable water bottle. My nana's like, just take the water bottle. Oh, and the candles. yeah. I love getting water bottles as a gift, man. And so now I'm happy I got my thermal flasks because these things are so oh, broken. Oh, I'm so jealous. It's freaking 32 ounces. Banger, man. Mine's a bootleg one. And it's like the same art style as the, uh, the fucking season two art. It's so funny. It's like my favorite color scheme ever. Like that blue, white, red shit. Damn. Yeah. I had shoes like that. I had my water bottle like that. My Whatever. life is basically <laughs> My life is like a color gradient. God, I wish. True. Man, who could relate? Are you guys, like, like struggling now, like, to, um... In general, yeah. No, it... <laughs> <laughs> like, in the sense of, like, like asking for stuff for Christmas, like, I, you, str yeah. I, str I struggle so fucking hard. Like, I feel so bad for, like, the people who get me in the fucking gift exchange, because, like, mm -hmm. the list is so tiny, because I don't know what else to fucking put. Like, it's such a, it's a, like, a mess. I have to really think about what I want, and when I finally get it, I'm like, okay, this is it, but I'll also give you guys easier alternatives in case you can't find it or yeah. don't have enough time to pick it up. Like, for my cousin gift exchange, the thing, my top priority that I wanted was like, uh, like an electric compressed air like gun, basically. For your oh, computers. yeah, yeah, yeah. To clean yeah. up my computer, clean up like basically everything. Like the ones that you plug Unlimited. in, so they're in. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, infinite air, but yes. and I'm like, I want this to be my priority, and if not, then just give me an Amazon card and I'll buy it myself. But there you like, go. Like I'm giving you guys alternatives. Like <laughs> for the gift exchange that we did uh, last, well, last week with, um, not even last week, a couple days ago with, yeah. uh, with LUK. Mm. I put the most random shit. I put a fucking figurine from Dark Souls, like the onion guy. <laughs> I put a beard apron, like when, when I'm when I'm trimming my beard, like for all the hair to just fall into the apron. Oh, nice. That's for a wall outlet. Like, like a what? A wall outlet. I was oh. struggling, John. I like. I I literally put a Funko Pop because I didn't know what else to fucking put. Because I, like, if it was up to me, I wanted to put more of the manga chapters for Hunter x Hunter, but I already asked for that on. Uh, like my family one. Right. And the thing is, I'm, like, I don't want, like, let's say, for example, the family ones get me the chapter, like, fucking 14 to, like, 18. And then, like, someone in the gift exchange gets, gets me and they gets fucking 14. Well, like. Yeah, right. That fucking sucks. Like, That's I'd it. rather, like, ask for something that I actually get. So I put a Funko Pop. Because I didn't know what else to fucking put. Like, I was, like, struggling. I, even, I got so lazy to the point where, for my cousin gift exchange, one of the options I put was a fuck ton of scratch cards. That's literally what I wrote. That's amazing. That's crazy. <laughs> like, I love it's, it. It sucks because even like last year, like luckily I asked for a bunch of board games. Yeah. But like I'm at the point where I have so, I have a, good, a decent collection now of board games. Yeah, and they're that, fucking like, expensive too. No, but they're expensive. Yeah. But also yeah. in the sense of like we have I have like a good like uh six or seven different board games. Yeah. Including like the like not including the expansions. It's really just fucking like six or seven and let's be honest when you're having a board game night you're gonna play one of them yeah exactly and we don't have board game nights often enough where it's like oh i'm gonna get right. a fucking giant ass collection of fucking like 35 board games right yeah so like it's uh like what i'm not gonna ask for more yeah so, exactly like, exactly it's, it's struggle i don't know i don't know what to fucking put because <laughs> I, I told my i i, saw, I think i was gonna spoil it with john right i spoiled it with you for sure i was telling you i was like i'm at the point where like if i want something i'm just gonna buy it yeah, that's exactly. Like, like, absolutely. I bought, like Dragon Quest fucking monsters came out literally like fucking like this past like week. Yeah, exactly. I could have waited exactly. fucking two weeks and asked for it on my fucking like list, but I was like, fuck, I want to fucking play it now. Man. I just, I just want this, yeah. And I, I, it's a lot of the time too for me where I'm like, I, I'd feel bad if someone had to spend this money, so I'm just gonna write yeah, like some exactly job ass gift yeah. basically, yeah. I'm becoming, I'm, I've become so independent where I'm just like, look, that's it. Like, give me, give me the simple things for. I, I finally understood that simple things for christmas honestly are so much better for me like now i'm i'm very happy if i get t-shirts socks me too. or like I, joggers I, my sister or whatever has me this year and uh i told i told him like i'm not even gonna put anything on my list she's like i don't want anything i'm gonna buy you like clothes for you i was like perfect because yeah. i don't fucking put yeah, like i'd rather that because I, I like i like some like plain t-shirts with like no text yeah, exactly. on them of like different my sister's different got me colors. like some of the nicest clothes i ever got and like <laughs> fair enough she's in like fucking like she works at a fucking clothing store yeah so like she knows what the fucking like that's what, it what style is that's it but like I, all my nice clothes that I have are from my fucking sister. So I'm like, well, bad. My sister got me again. I don't have to worry about it. It was the best. That and, and like you also have like an, another like 
voice and, and your cousin Samantha. <laughs> oh yeah, but no, but the thing is, John, like, uh, my sister got because uh, for the like cousin, like the family, big big family one, uh, we don't know who anyone has, right? Secret Santa, but like because okay. for th we're doing one also with like us four, just because like my parents like, do you want to do you want to do or like we all buy each other gifts or want to just do a, like a. Uh, like a gift to I'm like mom and be honest like i don't know what to fucking ask for like if you all like ask if like vanessa has to get me something you have to get me something dad has to get me something like what the fuck are we gonna do here like i, I don't know what to fucking get right so <laughs> that's exactly we ended it. up just doing like uh we all randomly pick and like i got my dad my sister got me there you go like it's so much easier that way so but because we're only four people it's so easy <laughs> to find out if, like who has who so for us, like, it's fucking... it worked out perfectly for me that my sister got me because if my if my dad got me, what the fuck was he gonna do? Yeah, he's gonna have to ask me to, to put something on the fucking list. That's it. For us, we we got to see everyone's like wish list before we got to like before we drew our name. Oh, and okay. I'm like, I was looking at them I'm like, okay, there was one person in particular that I seriously did not want because all their things were like not shipped from Canada, so I had to like do some extra work or wait extra longer and er Eek, and order yeah. earlier. And the things that they were asking for were like like from italy i'm like bro That's i'm like i'm like you I'm, I'm like i'm like please don't please don't make it be me and of course i you got fucking it. classic but i'm, I'm John, like okay let's it's a better surprise right there feel better dog last year i had the struggle of my fucking life like i had my so like now, now he's my cousin's fiance which is like great but like he got added into this gift exchange like because he broke the rule um everyone else like all, every other significant other now gets to be added in because he broke the fucking rule because originally, girlfriends and significant other wouldn't be at Christmas, and if they were, they wouldn't be in the fucking gift exchange because right. they're not fucking family, right? So they're not gonna be fucking gift exchange. But now, because he broke the rule last year, uh, two years ago with my mom, and then this year, like last year with me, he continued it. So now all the girlfriends and boyfriends uh, are coming, so now they're all in it. So yeah, last Christ. year I had my cousin's fiance now, and his fucking wish list was literally just the word, like it was like a, a shaver. <laughs> oh yeah, shaver. yeah. You're talking about shaver, that. Not a fucking like brand that you want. Just shaver. Uh, for the other two were, cause like the shaver really fucking bothered me. Cause I even told my cousin I had to message him like, but like, is there one that he fucking wants? Like, like what? Like what the fuck am I supposed to get him? Like, yeah. like I don't want to give him a God. fucking shit one. So that triggered me. But this year, I, like, like because it's the kind of come out after the fog. It doesn't matter. I have my, my cousin Michael's girlfriend. But she was so easy to get because she put everything on the fucking list and I could literally just go on Amazon and buy it. Yeah. So it was fucking easy. But like, yeah. last year was a struggle because he didn't put a link to anything. <laughs> so I had to fucking luckily look the shit up and I didn't know if it was good enough. Shaver, That's shaver fun. number two. Yeah, but like fucking literally This is the shaver, wrong shaver, fuck. dumb fuck. <laughs> okay, you're not supposed to be in this list. And that's what- oh, so, so, like, <laughs> shaver. Guys, I ranted about it for months that's valid okay like my family my house was fucking getting pissed at me for how much i was ranting about it but like but it's fucking over with it's fine I was, but it's fucking stupid why the fuck did it happen fuck you fuck you fuck you <laughs> fuck like, you it was fuck so you. dumb like yeah it's bullshit it was fucking bullshit like and now yeah. like it sucks and I, I had this talk with jana right like like a few months ago or, like even last year i was like like i'm like i would i uh, told them like if you ever came like to christmas like if it was up to me you wouldn't be in the gift exchange. Why? Because you're not family. It's just what it is. Yeah, It's absolutely. not like because I don't want you there. It's not like it's like it's just how it is. Yeah, exactly. that's like, a I, very I find normal that's thing. Fair. Like, uh, yeah, but yeah. Because he broke the rule. Like now they're all in it. I was gonna say that means it's okay for everyone. Yeah, that's yeah, phenomenal. But, like, imagine, but think about it. Like imagine. Like now, luckily he's my cousin's fiance now. So like now it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, the yeah. Mindset. But like, let's say for example, I got my cousin's girlfriend this year. If they break up, well, what, what the fuck just happened? I just fucking got this girl a fucking gift for fucking what? Yeah. Shaver. Like, that, that makes no sense <laughs> to me. She's a shaver. <laughs> Everyone's a shaver. Everyone, Everyone just gets a shaver. shaver. <laughs> she's like, so she's like I would like a specific, like, manga. And everyone just writes shaver. But, 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 Clipper. I, sure, like, I want this specific thing. You can find it on Amazon. It's Book. Like, I want between this one and this one. Yeah. Like, I made sure. You want to make people's uh, lives I, easy, not a fucking guess. Literally, that's really. exactly it. I'm like, that's why I'm like, look, if you can't get anything, just give me the Amazon gift card. Like, yeah, literally. Yeah, without, without no, no, doubt. No, but my, my uncle used to ask for that, and we told him it was a weak ask. Like, you, like in our gift exchange, like, we want you to be able to at least open something. Yeah. Yeah. So in the end, like, it, it's... Like, we I thought it was an option, person, but I always put it at the, like, the low like, priority. You gotta, you gotta upgrade the fucking list. He's like, yeah, but you, like, all the things I need or I want are over $100, which is, like, the fucking cap we have. And I was like, yeah, but you figure it out. 
because get asking for fucking <laughs> cards a weak fucking ask. Yeah, valid. You gotta ask for like at least something. So yeah, like, so this that's why this year really this year I was very happy to ask for that fucking air gun basically. Oh, that's but John, good. Yeah, I think it's a like, solid it one. depends on how you guys do it. Like if you guys are all okay with getting each other gift cards, that's fine. It's just like it would trigger everyone in yeah. my family who ever had him because he's the only one who basically just gets a card. That's like, like I, I, and, I, and I always say like I think that a gift card for me like while it's greatly appreciated I feel it's it, it could be very it could be seen as lazy in a yeah, lot of people's eyes. Yeah, that's what it is, right? Like you want to at least open something. That's why it's. But if that's the only now, idea that they're gonna give as well, like that's on them too. That's yeah, exactly. Yeah, but I told it. them. I told them. Yeah, exa that, that, that's why. Yeah, updated. yeah, exactly. Updated, baby. That's what it is. Yeah, that's valid. Like. There's nothing. It's not illegal to only ask for a gift no, card. But no, like, of course. You could, no, it's like it's, it's like you could. It's like you could. You could get your creative. Yeah, just make it fun. A bit more. Like yeah, you're gonna spend fifty dollars on something. I'm gonna give you that fifty dollars back in a different form of currency. It's kind of exactly lame. that. Yeah. I don't know. Man, I, that's why I've always hated like gift exchange, like shit like that. I, that's why I'm so glad I we like don't do that. I've always I hated what, it. It was even worse like, growing up. Like, like we'll get into like the growing up part because like I find when we were growing up, like there were so many things we wanted. There's so many things like you 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 didn't have uh the choice to like what's it called like let's say for, you know now like oh the game comes up we just buy it right away yeah like, yeah let's see pokemon used to come out in november right like, yeah. last year it came out in november well we had to wait till fucking december yeah you'd have to wait a whole it. like a month and a half basically yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like that's what it was yeah so like we were so excited for fucking christmas because oh my god i'm getting fucking diamond or getting well like or... that's oh, good classic. but my gift exchange i meant like the fucking like the white elephant shit like that you guys are talking oh, about like where you have to like pick a guy. random guy and get like whatever as gift as, like that's well, retarded as as i hate that scratch cards came up in the no, white no, elephant the, the, game the over gift, the regular gift exchange i find is okay. yeah buying gifts for my family members is a blast i love doing that like buy all yeah. my family members a gift and we all buy each other something that's great i don't like that aspect of you randomly get assigned a person and then it's yeah, like stressed the fuck out fine. and like that like, option of stealing people. and shit that's way we're, more different yeah we're yeah. like that, four like, like, you know i understand that yeah you know what i mean like absolutely like, like i find the white elephant one fucking trash that one sucks the one where like you have to basically buy like we did it one year yeah but it's also the wild sea way where like you basically bring a shitty gift yeah and you're basically just opening them and then you could steal from people yeah yeah you can open it's it like fucking, if you don't, if you don't like time. it. Yeah, exactly. that's if you don't it. Like it, then. Like you basically just wasted fucking time for what? Like it was so stupid. Yeah. And going last is like. <laughs> oh, well, going last <laughs> is actually best because you get this. Too, going like, last is like, best. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, absolutely. Whatever you want. Yeah. But uh, I hate yeah. that shit. No, but but I, I got like to, uh, the best blanket of my life throughout that, so I'm happy. I just I got like, yeah, 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 Calvin Klein blanket. Yeah, I'm happy. It's still fuck that. Like when it comes to the like growing up. Like, I used to look forward to fucking Christmas. Like, it was a fucking crazy, like, you, you like, it, whether it was fucking Beyblades or fucking Bakugan or, like, anything. Yeah. There were so many options for us to get that I was, like, just, it was such a thrill to, like, look for it, you know? But that's, uh, now yeah. we can't, like, we don't have that anymore. You know what, uh, I think my best gift that I ever received that I still remember was, like, the fucking Pokemon DS, or the Pokemon DS, the, the, just regular Nintendo DS with uh, diamonds. I, that's One a, I still remember. I, that, I yeah. remember that fucking Christmas when I got. Uh, oh man. I remember my DS. I got the DS and it came with a game called Bungayo, which was like some fucking. Oh, interesting. Like, it's a game where you cre you're playing as a robot and you create levels and you just have to just progress okay. through the level. And, cool. and it was, it was yeah. really cool. It was really cool. Like a create your own level kind of thing. And then the month after, like, because it was my birthday, like, I got oh, a yeah, fucking di go. diamond and pearl. And my yeah, brother's like, baby. Can I have, my brother's like, can I have one of them? Like. Sure. <laughs> you get pro because it's pink. I've ever received is still being used technically to this day. Is my Game Boy Advanced SP. Ah uh, yes. Five years old. Oh yeah. The greatest gift I have ever gotten um, for it. Christmas. The other one, which happened last year, is the gift Johnny got me for Christmas. Is my Buzz Lightyear Special Edition. Ah. Uh, oh, the, the black. The black Buzz Lightyear. The black one. Because context for everyone uh, who doesn't know, so it's like African American. Todd, you can also put like a picture of it if you can. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, if, I was gonna say if you find it, I'll put it up right here. Um, so basically, uh, growing up, uh, my cousin Anthony got had this Buzz Lightyear, and it it was at my nunna's house and it was on the shelf, and I'm obsessed with as everyone in this world yeah. knows, I'm obsessed with Toy Story. Yeah. So when I would go to my nunna's house and I would see that fucking Buzz Lightyear. I would be so just I wanted it so fucking bad. <laughs> and extra context, my other nana, when I was growing up, threw my other Buzz Lightyear out 
So I didn't have oh, one damn. for a long time. Like, my Woody that I had since I was fucking, like, three is still in my room. But my Buzz Lightyear that I had growing up doesn't fucking exist anymore. She threw it out. She Shit. Fucking, I don't know. If, I don't remember why. She, it was just thrown out. So I always wanted the black Buzz Lightyear. And then when my grandfather passed away and we were moving all this stuff out of the house, I asked for one thing. Because I thought it was, I didn't know it was my cousin Anthony's. I just thought it was my nun-nose. And I was like, can I have the black Buzz Lightyear? And my mom said, no, it's Anthony's. You can't take it. That's like, so Fuck. funny. So, no, but then the best part is a few years later, I told my aunt this story. And she's like, no, you could have definitely taken it. I don't think Anthony would have mind. I told my aunt, of I course not. I was like, I was like yeah. fuck. She's of like, course where not. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, we don't know where it is. Can't find it. So Beautiful. I'm like, fuck. It's like the one thing I fucking want is this fucking Black Buzz Lightyear. And I told Johnny this. Like, he's known this for a long time that I was yeah. this fucking Buzz Lightyear. And he spent, like, time looking for it. Mm-hmm. And he fucking got it for me. I was like fucking freaking out. Let's say. It was the like, fucking cra- craziest. Game. It was for my birthday. It wasn't for Christmas. I'm fucking gassed. Oh, but like, that's okay though. In the end, like, it's just. Well, yeah, it's a good story. This fucking, I was so hype. Like, I can't get over how fucking hype that was. It's like, a- I've had a bunch of good Christmas gifts, but I can't recall my favorite one. But I can definitely recall one of the funniest ones that I still have to this day. And it's Finding Nemo on PlayStation 2. <laughs> Um, and the context with this cracks me up to this fucking day because I thought about it. Like I, I, when I was young, I was I didn't think anything of it. But like, getting older, I'm like, wow, my brother's a fucking dingus. I can't believe he fell for it. So what happened was, my older brother really wanted Finding Nemo on PlayStation Two, <laughs> and I open up my gift that I find. What do I? I find a beautiful copy of Finding Nemo on PlayStation Two. <laughs> And my brother starts fucking, my older brother, so crackhead, starts fucking crying <laughs> and like throwing a fit because he didn't get Finding Nemo on PlayStation 2. So my parents, what they decided to do was just wrap up the gift, <laughs> give it to my, and just be like, Anthony, look, 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 look what's in this one. He opens it up and it's Finding Nemo on PlayStation 2. Now for me as a kid, I'm like, oh wow, we got two oh. copies of the game. Oh my <laughs> no, god. Your it was just it was just my copy, but like we still we we played on the same PlayStation Two anyway, so yeah. it's like I was gonna say like, like are, nothing fucking changes. Nothing fucking like, changes. Oh my brother's throwing a fit because he didn't get Finding Nemo on PlayStation Two. I'm like, bro, Fuck, bro. <laughs> like take it easy. Bro. <laughs> I was like, oh wow, I'm like we both have a copy now, <laughs> and it, it's the copy I still play to this day. You find out last year, whatever happened to our second copy of Finding Nemo for the PlayStation Two? <laughs> Huh, maybe there wasn't a second <laughs> copy after all. Johnny, stupid fucking idiot. <laughs> there was only one we rewrapped yours. And then, <laughs> and then Anthony starts crying again. But he's like 27. He's 27 throwing a fit because I got a copy he of Finding Nemo. He out that there wasn't a second copy. <laughs> but it's also, but the, I think it was also, uh, uh, no, it, was, it, was, it wasn't that same Christmas. It was a couple Christmases after my little brother got uh, Mario Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Oof. As a, uh, Best, one of the best fucking gifts ever. My little brother the day after was like, well, I don't really want to play it right now. He's like, you want to play it? I'm like, sure. Ended up being oh. the best fucking decision of my life. Yeah, what a, like what a fucking banger. It's a game I stopped to play. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. So good. So nice. It's so good. I have it on the, the 3DS. When they yeah, me too. The, the combo one, right? No, but I got it because I remember when you... When you oh, yeah, the, 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 the jailbreak thing, yeah. I ended up yeah. Uh, getting it from there, so... Because the one that I got, it was like a combo. It was, the, it was that one and... That fucking Bowser Jr. thing. I don't remember Actually, what the other one was called. I think I do. I think I do recall one of my favorite gifts that my that I ever got. Yeah, let's hear uh, it. Baby. My, my brother got me uh, the trilogy of Crash Bandicoot, but like um, not the not the original trilogy, but the three games on PlayStation Two, which was Crash Twin Sanity, Crash oh. Nitro Kart, and Crash Tag Team Racing. Oh wow! And uh, like the party I game bundle, own- eh? Exactly, based yeah. on the party game bundle, and I still own all three of those original things That's from sweet. when I was a kid. That's to this day, like, rad. In their original boxes, and, they, and two out of three worked properly. Like now, and I just got a new copy of Tag Team Racing. But oh yeah, Twin Sanity. I I said it was one of my favorite Crash games, like second favorite after Crash. That Bash, is a banger. Like, yeah, Crash Bash is fucking sweet. But holy shit! And, and I, like I got so many, I, like that 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 same uh, Christmas that I got Finding Nemo. I completely forgot. I also got Barnyard uh-huh. uh, that same year. You got so many like movies. I got Barnyard, games. Shrek 2. I figured. Oh. Shrek 2. I got Nicktoons Unite, which is like a, that was a good game. Yeah. great game. Really good game. Uh, and I'm looking at my, th- my list right now. What else? I got Madagascar. <laughs> uh, I got you know everything down that you ever gotten for Christmas. I'm and I'm literally looking at my my rack right now for uh, oh, okay, looking at his game rack, yeah, no. And I realized I got a lot of these within like a two year span for yeah, Christmas. Yeah, but you know, but, but John, it makes sense because back then you would ask for video, video games. For yeah, Christmas. no, not not even. I I just said video games. I I wasn't 
specific <laughs> with video games. It's just yeah, like it didn't matter. Just my, my family knew my algorithm, and they're like, "Fucking yeah. man, this guy, this guy saw that." Get him like cartoon movie, movies, <laughs> yeah, cartoon movie video games. Shrek Two is still the biggest. So the, those were bangers, though. At least they made good movie video games back then. Like the PSG exactly. era had like the best movie video games. Now you have, and Shrek Two and Speed Ran it. Oh, oh my god, god. The, at my house how one the three and a half hours took us to beat. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. We beat it way faster than I thought we would. Yeah, literally. My and I, I like, never want to touch it again though. But and that's, my little was like, yo, did you just fucking speedrun like <laughs> Shrek 2? Like, hell yeah. <laughs> so cool. I never beaten it before. Oh, I'd never been what, that game. Like, you know what's a really fucking funny Christmas memory I just thought of? Yeah, let's hear it. Like one of the the there's one shiny Pokemon that I got on Christmas Eve. And it's like back in the day when like we were playing Friend Safari, it was on like X and Y. Like that's when like me and Pat really got into my shiny oh, thing. And I got my fucking um, my Gudra. I got my fucking oh, uh, gold. Fucking oh, banger. Safari. It was the hypest moment. I call them Jingles because it was fucking Christmas. Oh, that's Eve. why it's Jingles. So every single oh. time I get a Gudra, I always call them Jingles. That explains like, it. I got my fucking Christmas Eve. I was like, that's in the Christmas fucking memory. Yeah. Like, I think like. We literally like, got, got back home from my aunt's. And I was literally in bed at like one in the morning. And I fucking. I fucking got it in the friend safari. Banger. That's a good one. Uh, that was a good it was, time. It wasn't Christmas exactly, but it was New Year's Eve where I got a shiny Amolga and I just named it It's a New Day. Like, I was just like, like, <laughs> 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 It's a New Year, actually, dumb fuck. <laughs> oh, uh, okay, I was also Oops. like super big into WWE. Like, uh, okay, the new, yeah. like, the New Day was a fresh tag team, and I'm like, ah, oh, it's a New Day. Shiny Amolga. Shiny Amolga fucking sucked ass. <laughs> Didn't even have the hidden ability. Oh Dog shit. Which game was it on? It was X and Y also. Nice. Yeah, X and Y yeah. was such a fucking good game, man. Uh, my little brother at the dentist office. He's like, oh, John, was, I, was, I think this good throw good is good. a shiny. <laughs> like it gets me a shiny throw. I'm like, okay. Yeah. I got a shiny Lapras in Let's Go on Christmas Eve as well. A couple years oh, back. Really? I think yeah. it was like four. I had to master ball that one. <laughs> I was very happy, like, uh, I, when I, I remember just fucking around, like, around Christmas time with the GTS, and I got a shiny Deli Bird. Oh, it was cool. Just called Mer- it, was, it was called Merry Christmas. Oh, I'm like, wow, that's yeah. fucking sick. That's that, sick. that was one of the coolest things ever. I'm like, yo. Hell, yeah. She did like, some Christmas shiny yeah. hunting again. I mean, I'm getting, like, faded in cooking on Christmas again, so I'm just gonna... Maybe I'll try to include some shiny hunting in there. Yeah, why not? Get obliterated I I shiny hunt. I don't have fucking time to. Me neither, dude. It's I like, yeah, did. I'm gonna try to find time to. We try to stay up late for no, but Christmas. No, like, we stay but, up yeah. super late. But the thing is, like, I know that, uh, like, I because it's at my house. Like, it's not the same as before. Like, we would let's say, like, after I guess we leave and then we like be at home. Like, after like help like clean shit up. Right. That's it. Yeah. Now, now, now oh. we're we're adults, so we have to actually do more. Yeah. Shit, yeah. That and then I even have to like go to my girlfriend's literally the day after. So it's like. From Christmas Eve to, to Christmas, so it's like yeah, crazy tragedy. And now from what we with Mike wanting to invite us as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The next day it's we're... it's three days of playtime. <laughs> I got uh, three days. I've got funny like Christmas catastrophe stories. Actually, that I'm thinking oh, about. We've talked about all go the good. It. I could go for the bad now. Go so for it. These oh, yeah. last two Christmases have been like not the worst technically, but like boy, were they not great like these last two years in a row so two years ago it's a lot easier and it's way less bad it was like we we decided to do christmas uh with my dad i think we did like christmas eve at my mom's then for christmas day we went down to my dad's place i think it was our first christmas at their new house in il Perro. okay and um my stepmom is doing that like drive by like uh nursing shit so like blood tests uh flu shots shit like that like okay various things like that but at the time when covid was still rampant and like existent she was doing uh, mainly like covid tests for people and on yeah. fucking christmas day she like comes into our room with the mask on to say i have covid i'm gonna do a test on you okay oh, it's like that's a fucking cool way to spend christmas and then we do the test we both come back negative like holden and i and then it's like all right you're negative uh like just we'll take you back to like dad will drive you back to mom's yeah go back to my mom's the next fucking day we both test positive for covid that's fucking awful that's yeah. fucking rough so we spent I know, like jordy had covid uh two yeah, years ago and that's... it sucked but, like that was miserable he couldn't come to fucking christmas yeah that was that and that too like everyone got sick like holden me sophia my mom like so we all just went up to schwinnigan and just 
hung out over there sick. I still made my Wellington. And then at that point, like, it rolled over to New Year's, so we spent New Year's with COVID rather than Christmas. Yuck. And then last year, when we uh, did Christmas, it was a similar situation where we went up to, um... Or no, it's not last year. It was last... Yeah, it was last year. Oh my god. We, uh, we went up to Schwinn again. Again, for Christmas. Um, and last year we had a really fucking bad, like, snowstorm slash ice storm uh, on Christmas. I don't know if you guys remember, but it was a pretty bad snowstorm oh, that we got. Yeah, it was, it was not great. I remember. Yeah, we had no power in Schwinnigan, so the middle of fucking nowhere during a blizzard. Um, for, I want to say, four or five days. God damn. That's crazy. Yeah, so... No power in Schwinnigan meant no power and no hot water, but worst of all, no fucking running water, period. That's all. We had no running water in Schwinnigan, and like, day two, I told my mom, like, we need to get the fuck out of here, I can't, I can't do this. Like, I need to leave. Yeah. Like, running, if I can't have running water, like, I, I can't handle that. Like, I'm a pretty big germaphobe. If I can't wash my hands, like, it's, it's over. And like, we barely had food and shit. Like, we had a wood-burning stove to cook on, at least. But like, that that fucking blew. That's good. That's so. Yeah. So we went back. My uh, grandmother and my aunt stayed for a few days just in case the power did come back. And then we just went to my grandmother's. I made my Wellington again, as usual. And then they were here on Christmas, not Christmas Day, but I think like the twenty sixth. So we saw them like two or three days later. That was a fucking God, miserable damn. times. Yeah, we're like, zero for two these last two years. So hopefully this one goes a little bit better. I we'll wish you luck, though. my friend. Thanks, dog. I feel like this might be like the best uh, new age. I think Christmas, so. Christmas uh, thought at our house for sure. Yeah. Just because like we're thirty people. Yeah. Like like uh, was it two years? Like I always say this, and I like I don't even say this to be mean, but like uh, like Jordy not being there like two years ago for fucking Christmas fucking sucked ass. Mhm. Mm because like usually me and him like keep each other company. Because my cousin Anthony, because he's thirty, he takes like a fucking two hour nap. Oh. So he's fucking out. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mike, like, a few years ago also took a nap, so, like, I was basically just left alone for fucking, like, just there. four hours. But, like, Jordy always, like, keeps me company usually, so I don't, like, yeah. I never have to worry about it. Yeah. So, like, but then we're also going to be, like, a huge group for poker. Like, I'm, like, really excited. Like, it's really going to be uh, a big uh, event. Hell, yeah. I said smaller. Wait, like, 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 the past two years for me, I the exact opposite. Like, the past two Christmases were actually really good. Like, everyone was there. We were almost, like, 30-ish people. That's uh, good. Exactly. Now, now we cut, we basically cut in half because, like, uh, well, my cousin, she's giving birth, actually, oh, in, wow. oh, a month, in a month from now. Oh, shit. So she, yeah, exactly. Congrats. So, yeah, there's going to be another fucking January kid. So, I'm hoping that the, the kid isn't born on my birthday because everyone's going to forget my birthday for sure. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's, I think it's like January, I know if it's a fucking, as if, uh, was it three years ago, I know it's off topic a little bit, but I remember as soon as like, it was like one in the morning on January 28th and my mom's like, Josh, she's screaming at me. I'm like, what the fuck's up? She's like, the fucking ceiling broke. There's the free on, there's free on leaking through. I was like, bro. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> everyone's like, everyone's freaking out because it, it, the, the base was still like fucking free on. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. And then I, I like they're like oh by the way happy birthday I'm like oh well fuck well fuck me then. <laughs> what does Freon smell like? Uh my god it's it's like gassy but like oh it smells like a leak but it's like it doesn't Amazing. it's not lethal yeah it's just like obviously fucking it's very uncomfortable and you don't want to smell Freon but like it, it just it smells like ass that's weird and, that sucks yeah and it, was it those like what what caused the leak I guess like what was I it? think snow outside like melted but it was like or, like maybe there was some like little holes that needed to be like 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 at, like sealed up or whatever from the outside uh-huh so maybe it, like uh it froze maybe the snow outside like kind of went through the holes and froze the pipes oh okay so like there was like little things that led to another. That's, that's yeah was, i don't know that was completely off john topic. there's free like, on it's like, it's like john there's fucking that. free on the free on's falling the, the ceiling <laughs> broke i'm like oh okay <laughs> I was playing League, I remember Joel gifted me a fucking Tom Kench skin. Cute. Uh, the Wild yeah, like, caved in on your birthday, it's crazy. Well, it's so perfect. Crazy. Should have been the Wild Seat with, with Freon, but anyways. Uh, <laughs> yeah, half the family gets cut for, for Christmas essentially this year, and that's pretty much why, but like... Eh, 
It is what yeah, it is. Like, it happens, right? You're gonna have years where it's, you're gonna be like half. You're gonna, there's gonna be other years where you're gonna be fucking the full house. Eight times. Like next year, I already know it's gonna be fucking cut in half for us. So it's like we're gonna try and enjoy this year as much as we That's can. That's exactly it. Like so, like now, my God, at this point, like it's just whatever. It's less headaches for me, less cleanup for me. Yeah. Uh, now that we're all adults and everything, we all have That's to do our share and clean up. Uh, it's le- it, yeah, it's less headaches the house, less people to manage. Like, and it's it, it's, it's good better anyway. when it's smaller. I find I, I prefer. I when find it's, it's actually smaller. better when it's bigger. But you've always like thrived in that environment. You at the yeah. uh, you have a part like family party every fucking because like week. And everybody shit like, that. like well, that's everybody your reaches like a social. Everyone reaches like a social breaking point where it's like they need to just chill. Like they need yeah. to be on cool. I guess it helps when you yeah, actually like, like your family. Because like well, the thing is, growing up for uh, for us like. Like my dad's side is way smaller, right? So yeah. usually we would, when we used to be at my other aunt's house, we would have like the big Christmas, the um, Christmas Eve, and then the smaller one the next day. But not because they're everyone like my whole family's at my house, including my dad's side. Like it's fucking massive. So then the next day it's really dead. Yeah. So I can really relax That's the it. next yeah, day. Yeah, at least. Like for, like two Christmases ago was really like fucking crazy because i had like everybody at my house and then the day after i went to chris's house and everybody in her family was there like so it was like so many i I met 70 people i was in the same house with i'd say 70 people in 24 hours i was like yeah that's crazy that's 70 i I can't i can't that's crazy 30 at my house and like another 30 at her house like i can't it's it's so many people so many so much socialization yeah that's how i try to get as fade as possible on christmas without reaching the break this year year it's 15 people at my house then eight people at her house like wow it's literally cut all right time to get obliterate (laughs) eight people i can't do this (laughs) fucking cat man i'm nine eggnogs deep i'm only halfway through my wellington i'm actually gonna ask my uh my dad if we're getting fucking eggnog hell yeah the nog i might have accidentally like made it clear that i'm willing to try like homemade eggnog and again me the germaphobe yeah but, but I'm, I, 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 I i think it'll be bad no, it's because it's raw eggs so. it's it's raw eggs you know yeah but i'm i'm okay i've had raw egg dishes before plenty at la salle i'll be cool no, i think it'll be fine yeah, exactly you don't really get well i mean Knock on wood, you don't really get sick from eggs. No, no but much. also if you do it properly, like, it shouldn't be a problem. Exactly, but if anything's properly prepared, obviously, like, in moderation. I mean, TBH, though, it's just, for eggnog, it's it's just raw eggs and sugar and all that. Like, the odds of getting sick from raw eggs are so, like, nothing. That's exactly And, like, yeah, when like... you buy eggnog from the store, like, I know at least in Canada, I don't know if it's the same all around the world, but any egg product outside of the shell that's sold has to be pasteurized. Yeah, exactly. It's, so that's why you could buy like cartons of eggs of. or eggnog, very like all those things, with no risk at all for that specific reason. But like not all eggs that are sold are pasteurized, like in the shell necessarily. Exactly. Like yeah. my brother, he had this part of his diet with fucking eggs during his protein week. Uh, yeah. Disgusting. He just like cracked a couple eggs in a glass. Oh, I, 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 I see like that I, I always wanted to try that as well no I like I tried it I tried it I'm like what's it like okay it's probably it's just gross it doesn't taste like anything I guess eh? oh, it's, it's just it's just gooey yeah in your mouth, bro. like, like slime it's, you're just it's, yeah, drinking it's just sludge slime. bro you're just drinking sludge <laughs> but I do want to see what it's like sludge wave nice good move but I mean like bang. look look I mean he he found he Saw results in his fucking there you diet, go. so I mean, at the end hey, of the day, it's, it's, it's a W. Words, exactly. It really did it, it, it was his replacement, so instead, exactly. So instead of, like, it was his protein week, so instead of having to, like, consume, I don't know, like, a fucking shit ton of beans or actually, like, cook the eggs, he's just like, I'll chug them. You down it instantly, yeah, and it's like they're down, he's like, he's like, he's like, well, I'll save my meal replacements for, like, lunch or dinner, and then just chug yeah. the eggs in the morning, get my day started. Yeah. Let's get this like, day good, ended. good for you. I tried that, but I'm like, nah, man, I need to have like it's fucking rough. eggs. Like, That's if you can power eggs. through it, then yeah, phenomenal. Same though. Just hard boil it even. You don't exactly. lose out on anything. You just have more than one shot. The... It's so much easier to put down. You could put down eight eggs straight like that in like four gulps. But to me, that's not worth it. Beauty and the Beast did. Yeah. That's where he learned how to do it. Four dozen eggs. 
or five dozen eggs, whatever it was. Yeah, I was gonna say I haven't watched Beauty and the Beast in a while, but it's maybe been like two years. <laughs> That's okay. Actually, did you oh, did all, you guys have like a Christmas all, tradition? You know what the old tradition we used to have was we haven't done it since uh, we we're not at my cousin's house anymore. We used to watch Fast Five every fucking year on Christmas. Oh, interesting, wow. interesting choice. I don't know why it started, but like Fast Five is also our all our favorite Fast and the Furious movies. We used to watch fucking just Fast Five every fucking Christmas. Right, yeah. Elf. Home Alone, that's the generic one. You don't watch Christmas movies, funny enough. Like, my brother's like watching Christmas with it, like, and I watching, like, we like watching Christmas with the Craigs, but like, it's oh, not yeah. that good of a movie, but like, I like it because I like Tim Allen. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, but I'm at the point too where I fucking hate. Not that I hate Elf, but like, I've seen it so many times, I'm just over it. Oh, my girlfriend, my girlfriend fucking hates Elf. So yeah. Much. I don't hate Elf at all. I it's just... their least favorite, but that's so least funny. Christmas movie for sure. Bro, she hates it. That's I'm really funny. I'm at the funny. point where, like, I don't need to watch Christmas movies, like, at yeah. all. Like, I don't see the need for it. I'm trying to think, like, what are Christmas, iconic Christmas movies? Like, last year, I think we did I mean, Die Hard Christmas as a joke. Christmas is a Halloween Christmas movie. Yeah. One. I had seen... Um, Home Alone uh, is Claus. obviously, like... I don't oh, watch Fred either Claus. of those. Uh, Fred Claus, I, because I, didn't, I wasn't overexposed to it as much, I actually, I watched it and I quite enjoyed it. Yeah, not it. bad, it's good. Um... There's uh, I liked the Frost of the I Snowman, Die Hard, like two yes. months ago, like, but that seemed like a crazy Christmas movie. Like, I didn't even realize it was a Christmas movie, but like, yeah. oh, that was fucking fantastic. Watch Die Hard really for good. Christmas last year, it was really good. Yeah, the, the uh, a really classic, I haven't seen it in a long time. I actually really want to watch it. There was a movie, I don't know what it's called, John. I feel like you'll remember like instantly. It's they're at the airport, like, it's kids at the airport, Die Hard. and like. They're like stuck, like stuck in, and they're trying to like celebrate Christmas with everyone at the airport. But like, there's a fucking like security guy, like fucking making sure they don't fuck up. Oh. You know what we're talking about? I'm gonna Google it. I'm trying oh, to figure it out. I remember those. Is it Christmas related? Out. Yes. All I remember is this well, one no, no, stupid it was a fucking like, movie was a with movie Arnold happened. Schwarzenegger, bro. <laughs> is it Unaccompanied <laughs> Minors? Yes, yes. Unaccompanied <laughs> minors. Oh yeah. Oh, Dream would love that movie. Oh. <laughs> that movie was actually really good. Oh. That was fantastic. I've never seen that before. It's really good. I actually really I'd have to give that one a check. The girl was really hot. <laughs> Gino, she's a minor and she's on a company. Gino, she's all, she's she's all yours. Company. She's on a company. It's like taking candy and from a minor. Like, like, six. Seven or something? Yeah. yeah, it said like, six when I googled it. Wait, well, yeah, you would have been seven. That's Damn, yeah. I want to rail that chick. <laughs> And you're at, like, the fucking dinner table with all your family. <laughs> like, you guys are praying, it's like, alright, like, and the movie's playing in the background, it's like, alright guys, in the name of the father, and it's like, god, she's so fucking hot, there's like, you know the corner. <laughs> what I wouldn't do to that bitch. <laughs> Dude has already demolished his cookie, Seja. That movie was really good. What I'd do for her to deck my halls. <laughs> 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 She'd hear my sleigh bells jingling, ring ting tingling. <laughs> we don't really do like traditional movies, I guess. It's kind of whatever's on TV. For Christmas? Yeah. Movie. Usually, yeah. I know, now it's Christmas movies. Like... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, we played, like, we whatever's play, on is um, on. A night, like, on Christmas, we used to play like random music at my cousin's house. We used to play like, whatever music we wanted to dance to. Oh, nice. Yeah. Don't like, drop I that, don't da da. Hey now, hey now. <laughs> this is my dream, my But Gina, did you have a Gucci Gang themed Christmas one year? <laughs> Gucci Gang themed Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, that's shit. my favorite part about the brilliant diamond shiny pearl I nuzlocke. I, I, I always I, think I about it. I laughing so hard at that fight. God. <laughs> it's so funny. Like. <laughs> John, did you ever see that bit from the the video or no? I don't think so, no. no? Gina was talking about, um, this is so unrelated to Christmas or anything, but he's talking about his cousin <laughs> Lucas. Lucas, I yeah, was yeah, in yeah, a yeah. fucking cave in a Diamond, in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, like, I was trying to get, like, a TM that's, like, in an awkward spot. And then Gina, like, out of nowhere was like, <laughs> uh, one of us said something about, oh, it's all Gucci or whatever. And she was like, did you know that my cousin had a Gucci game themed birthday party once? It's <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking so about? I, 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 I literally said verbatim, how is Gucci gang thematic? 
Oh. Be surprised. He's like, oh, there was like a Gucci gang kick. Gucci guy was playing the entire time. And oh, then you confronted fuck. Lucas about it one year. He was like, I didn't do that. And you're like, yes, you <laughs> fucking <laughs> did. I had to suffer through it. Of course we did. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Oh, Holy God. shit. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll try to pull up the, the video in the meantime. Oh, fuck. But we could keep talking about shit. But that, that bit, outstanding. The wow. Gucci gang themed birthday party. Little pump actually shows up. <laughs> dude, I, Copyright streaks. I really wish I could find pictures from that fucking birthday, dude. <laughs> I also asked my mom, I'm sure she probably fucking has it in her phone. That'd be you amazing. Know, like, Luke, like, Lucas gets the fucking, like, dreads. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Lucas. How old was Lucas turning when, when, he, when he did uh, his... Like, fucking 11 or 12? <laughs> <laughs> Like 10, 11 or 12. Too young. The fact that he's not even like... It was a few like... years ago, wasn't it? Like, like, <laughs> like, like, when I asked him, he... I brought up to him like a year or two ago. He's like, well, that never happened. But like, it happened like two years or a year before. Like, it's not like it was a fucking like, seven <laughs> years fucking ago. Yeah, this is ancient insane. history. <laughs> it's the brain <laughs> rot. Like Gucci gang themed birthday party. I love that shit so much. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Yes, we, we never had we never had themes for Christmas either. Like we had like we had, did you guys have like the occasional person dressing up as Santa Claus for you guys? Um, At my place, no. no. Actually, for us we did like it used to a transition from generation. Party. It was my grandfather first, then my dad, and that, nice. then I, I I had that luxury of doing that one year as well, which actually oh being sweet. Santa being Santa like for my oh, for, I did it for my cousin Jaden. That's cute, yeah. Like on, like it's it's nice generational. It was quite it was quite nice honestly. When Jane oh said, God. let's go, I thought Let's that. go, literally, yeah. I'm like, yo, what, what, is, uh, what does the baby say? Let's go. <laughs> like, the bar was playing Fortnite, and he's like, oh, let's go. Let's go. Because I, I literally, at one point, my little brother and I were just fucking recording him for, like, ten minutes straight. We're like, hey, what, 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 is, what does the baby say? <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's go. Okay, I, I found the Gucci gang bit on the, the, the Nuzlocke. God. I also love seeing Scoliosis in the title. Of the... Are you sharing the screen? I can. I just want to see if this is actually the part. Hold on. Or what was that? Is it this? Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Here, wait. I'll, I'll share the, uh, not the screen with you guys, but I'll share like the actual window. So hopefully you guys could actually hear it. See? Let me know though. Just make sure it's also not muted. Hey, play? Play? I'm never gonna forget my cousin having a fucking Gucci gang birthday. I don't hear it. Oh, you don't hear it? Who's this? No. Yeah, wait, I'll just send you guys the link. At uh, a minute, 21, 22 seconds. Don't you mean one Or hour? wait, I could also, like, turn on subtitles. Oh, that was the... <laughs> 1, birthday, what? One minute, yeah, 21, who's this? 20 seconds. Who's this, Luca? What do you mean? How do you have a Gucci <laughs> gang birthday? Yeah. <laughs> he had a Gucci gang themed birthday. How does... How? <laughs> Scoliosis. How is Gucci Scoliosis. Gang How is Gucci gang thematic? <laughs> Like the kick was Gucci like gang, like Gucci gang playing almost the whole time. Like, and this is like maybe like when Gucci gang came out. Like, this is like maybe like when Gucci like, gang like, came out in 2017, like, like yeah, forever. So I told him like, I'm like, you know, you're the loser at a Gucci gang team birthday. Like, no, I didn't. I'm like, yes, you did. Anytime it says team, it's theme. I had to fucking sit through that. I had to fucking sit through that. Oh, it's so good. Outstanding, yeah. Cannot recommend that bit anymore. God damn. Gucci, God damn. Shout out to Girth real quick. Shout out to Girth. He was supposed to be our guest for season two, but. Oh, we gotta get Girth for sure. I'm down, yeah. He's we super down. He wanted episode. to. Yeah, I'm down. He's uh, he's away from his dorm. Like, I think he's with family right now, so he wouldn't have even been able to, I don't think. That's it. Uh, that's so I'm without a Fortnite partner for a few days, but. It is what it is. Yeah. God damn. God damn. But I think we're all going to be busier on the holidays anyways. Exactly that, yeah. Yeah, yeah 
kill you. Ugh. It's fine, I still have to figure out what we're doing for our birthday. Like, what? just a restaurant. Like, we know we're doing a restaurant, and then we just don't know which restaurant, but we kind of know what restaurant. We just have to organize it. Is it Sota? It's not Sota, no. Aw, okay. No, no, no. I'm like, we did that a lot. Well, we did Calbi last year. I'm like, yeah, mind Sota. I told Schmatt, I'm like, I don't mind Sota. We, if we can't. We're thinking uh, Elixir, that restaurant. Oh, yeah. Which I one? I don't know what that is. It's, a, it's uh, just like a bar with uh, food and stuff. That's it. It's uh, typical, and... yeah. I'm like okay, I'm like, I'm like that's not, I'm like it's pretty good. I saw the the food like on Google Elixir Images. I'm like, I'm like hell yeah. It was like and my mom's we... favorite spot to go to for a bit. Elixir, right. yeah. Then we come back to my house. Nice. And a soda, the one downtown or? Uh, Laval. Oh yeah, that makes more sense though. Yeah, I thought like I thought soda was like a one spot place. No, to... oh, no, it's all soda though, like the actual location of soda. Yeah. Oh, that's downtown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like right next door to Moose Bar, baby. Yeah, exactly. Soda! SODA! <laughs> I want uh, soda. And then after, I was thinking maybe like a week after uh, me and Schmed do our birthdays, like I wanted to have the fellas come over to my house. Yeah, Huge. That's a, that's That'd be a awesome. Great idea. I'd be super down. That's it. Like, like what Johnny did for like Halloween, except no Halloween. Yeah, just the <laughs> come over. house. Like, like what Johnny did for his birthday the fucking year before. Yeah. Yeah. Essentially. Just a random over. Day. Have yeah. cake, coffee, cake, cookies, oh, soft, soft drinks. drinks. <laughs> I'm off from the, well, technically, what day is Saturday? The 23rd? Yeah. I'm Maybe off from the, the yeah, from the 23rd up until mm -hmm. like the 3rd of January, I think, so. Oh, hell yeah. I'm a free yeah. bird if you guys want to do shit. Until well, what, what day? Until what day? 3rd of January. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's well, Tuesday. Thing, like on, on come Tuesday when like. When we go out, we could probably meet at some point. Is that the 27th or is that the... That's the 26th. 26. Tuesday is the 27th. No. No, it's just come, no, come it's Tuesday. Day. Come Tuesday Sunday's is on Wednesday. Because Sunday is the 24th Wednesday. and then Monday is the 25th. No. The 26th is Tuesday. Sunday is yeah, the 25th. I'm, I'm, uh, no, no, I'm looking, I'm looking at the calendar right now. So am I. Oh, wait, I'm on December 2022. My bad. All right. <laughs> Come Tuesday. I'm boosted. Come Tuesday. My bad, I'm boosted as fuck. Yeah, Tuesday is the 27th. That's what I said. That's what I said. That's what I said. Oh, no, dude. Uh, I'll keep you all posted. Because I keep don't posted. know what's happening. But I don't I think... I, I can't imagine I'm doing anything on that. So, yeah. I told Laura, I'm like, yo, you and Jimbo better save the 27th. We're playing Left 4 Dead. Huge. Hello. Very specific, but I'm like... This is I specific. Must. This store is a very specific so wait, store. It's 27th Fellows Day? No. Uh, oh, okay. the, like my birthday. I'm talking like birth like my the week after my birthday, so I'm assuming Your birthday. very early February. Ah, uh, January. Gotcha. If not, then like well it all depends when Schman and I want to actually do our birthday because ours could be Bang, like, yeah. Like it could be the twentieth and the twenty seventh, respectfully. Like the twenty like they're both Saturdays. True. Or the nineteenth and the twenty sixth, like Fridays, like either were. Cool. Coolio. I'm trying to think of other Christmas related matters and themes. That's like, like Christmas is, it's Christmas is Christmas. Christmas is Christmas. <laughs> and I've honestly, like, yeah, I learned, I learned to just, like, love everything around me. That, 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 like, I finally got the idea, the true meaning of Christmas. John finally found this Christmas spirit. I did. Honestly, I'm always really jolly around these times just because like, I'm, I know that it's just a break on top of like getting to be with your family, like for hell yeah. Hopefully, a non-dramatic reason. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and that's it. And then I fucking, especially when it's at my house, I just get wine drunk and I just relax. There you go. There we go. I get like and drunk, drunk. Hell yeah. Eggnog drunk. I got raw eggs and liquor in me. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Projectile vomit yolk <laughs> into the pan and make a fucking omelet. <laughs> make an omelet out of it. Ah, oh, flambe that shit. Oh, this is getting progressively worse. <laughs> you can't fucking take these goons anywhere, huh? Man, this fucking guy took their podcast off, huh? Talking about throwing up in front pads. I think would rather eat a crunch bar than what I'm talking. Nah, about. nah, fuck that. <laughs> That ruined my experience. 
pad Give thickness omelet vomit goes into the D tier of all the crunch ra the crunch bar stays in F. <laughs> I like the vomit omelet. I should coin that. Vomit omelet. God damn. Sounds like a, a fucking filthy Frank up like video they would have That's made. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, did he, did he do that? I feel. Where do I? Did I a, he did a hair cake, bro. I, I remember seeing that somewhere. Someone ate a bunch of eggs and threw them up in a pan and started cooking them. It was Max Mofo yeah. who did that because they were making. Oh. Fucking, they, 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 made the, they made the human cake. Yes, you're so right. That's nasty. probably what I'm thinking that of. Nasty. What the hell? Uh, the only thing I remember from that video was them going to Vsauce and like collecting his spit. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. And then at one point he, he's like, "Hey, guy, can I can I hang out with you guys?" And then uh, it was eyes up. He breaks a bottle and and he, and he points like the back the, the fuck sharp, up. Back the fuck up. I can just imagine getting aggressive with Vsauce yes. like of all people. And then he hides in a box, <laughs> like his homeless. <laughs> yeah, him smashing a fucking bottle. Back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. <laughs> it's too real. And then what's his name? Pissed all over them like that prank YouTuber. Oh my god. I can't remember who uh, it was. I forgot what his name was. Bob. Oh. Bottle Ice TV. <laughs> oh, Vitaly. So back to Christmas. <laughs> yeah, on that topic. <laughs> How long have we been doing uh, the recording for? I feel like, like, like two hours already passed. It's barely been an hour and a half. I think ten minutes was just like not even starting it. Oh, okay. We still have another hour and a half to go. Oh my god. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's like, please, boys. Please, I gotta go yes. to bed. But I feel like we got through mostly everything, no? Like, we got, we went through all... We the covered a lot of... A lot yeah, of pretty much. The, it's easier to go the over the, the time when we're doing, like, tier lists and 3x3s. Three three. This was just a nice little... Yeah. Well, it's because then you know the thing with the 3x3s three and the, um, the tier lists is that, like, we know that eventually it's gonna end, right? But like, we have, like we know how much things are left to like talk about. You know what I mean? Like, let's say it's like, let's say we got like halfway through and it's like been an hour and a half. Like, oh, we still have another hour. Like, yeah, yeah, like, another half to go, right? Yeah, that's it. But no, this was nice. I'll Quite I think nice. I'll, I'll have some like Christmassy music in the background. Hell yeah! Very low, keep it nice and cute. You know, get get yourself cozied up by the fire. Yeah. Get the dogs out and enjoy a nice pod thickness episode. Shoot them yes, in sir. the fucking head. Hell yeah, the man. Weather outside. I hope you guys have an excellent Christmas. And I hope everyone has a good Christmas. And to many more. And to many more. On God. On John. <laughs> On John. And that's it. And that's it. And that's uh, it. Uh, you guys have a nice. West. West. You guys have a nice Gucci Gang themed Christmas this year. <laughs> oh, I no, can't wait. Gucci, Gucci Gang, gang Gucci Christmas. Gang. I actually want Lil Pump to be singing that the entire time. <laughs> He's gonna be like, "Yo, Mr. Dingo, please, I'm hungry. Can you spare me some seafood salad? Keep fucking singing." <laughs> Did I ask don't you to you fucking stop? Is, don't, you, don't you see how Lucas is here? Fuck. Lucas has been hitting the gritty the entire time incessantly. <laughs> <laughs> hitting an hour long gritty. It <laughs> <laughs> oh, was just programmed. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Well, boys, do you want to call it then? We'll call it there. I think yeah. we could call it at that. That's beautiful. I, I agree with calling it that then. It was a lot of fun. I hope everybody nice. has a wonderful, yeah. wonderful, wonderful Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Happy holidays and cheers to season two. We cheers promise. That will put episodes out. And Girth, you will be our You're guest next. At some point. You're next. You're <laughs> next. You better be ready. He's probably not going to watch this. It's okay. I'll, I'll threaten him anyways. I'll threaten him with uh, promises of a being on the time. podcast. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure something uh, fun for that one. I think we could do like uh, yeah. another either tier list or 3x3 three three or something. Yeah, those we'll ones. yeah. we could do something like, silly. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, I'm down. Be like, oh, you like that? God damn. <laughs> Not right. Have a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, everyone. Yeah. Merry Take Christmas, care. Leave happy some holidays. stories. We will read them all. Love to hear from Indeed. you guys. Yeah, man. tell us your Christmas story. Hell yeah. In the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe ba -ba and ba -ba -da 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 -da. show some love with a like. Ba -da -da -ba 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 -da -da -da.
<laughs> okay. Okay. Bye bye.